Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a much anticipated Romwe haul. So I placed an order uh, last week on Friday and it came exactly one week later. Keeping in mind that I did spend enough to get the express shipping to Canada and I had to pay an additional $33 for taxes and duties. So I think it was like 100 and 60 something dollars for all the items that I got and then an additional $33 for taxes and duties. So let's call it $190 for all the items that I have in Canadian dollars. So I actually got like quite a few items and I'm really excited to show you. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to do a try on haul, but I figured that I'm going to be wearing all these items when I go away on vacation in the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to be doing a lookbook and I'll tell you in that lookbook where I got the items and you'll be able to kind of see what I've got. I've already tried everything on so I can kind of explain sort of like the fit and the material and sort of if I would repurchase or if I'd purchase something in the same item. So I think everything I got is in the size medium because I know that it was recommended to size up on Romwe so I would definitely size up uh, especially for the bathing suits because you're going to be ordering like the top and the bottom piece together you can't order like two different sizes so I ordered a medium because I knew that I wanted the bottoms to fit better um, and then the top could be adjustable so I've done that and yeah let's just let's just get on into it. <laughs> Okay, so the first two items that I want to show you are the shorts that I bought. I saw these uh, two, I got two pairs. So the first one are these really nice, like, they're high-waisted shorts. Um, they have the cuffs at the bottom. I really like them. They're a looser pair, and I wanted a pair of looser jeans because I'm getting really tired of, like, jeans that are super tight on my legs, especially if you're, like, on vacation and you're walking everywhere and you're traveling and you don't necessarily want to wear, like, really tight jeans. So I picked up these ones. I thought they were really cute. I love the back of them. Yeah, I really love these shorts. I love that they're high-waisted and they've got the cuffs at the bottom. They've got the pockets. They fit really nicely. The only thing is, is like around the crotch area, it's like a little boxy, if you know what I mean. So when you stand like with your legs together, it kind of like creates like a weird look. But I mean, when are you going to be standing with your legs directly together. Um, and if you're taking pictures of them, then you're obviously not gonna stand straight on. So that's why I really liked these ones, the pockets. And then the next pair of shorts I got, which are ones that I started this whole thing, are these ones here. They've got the really nice um, ruffle sort of at the top. Um, they look kind of awkward on if you're not wearing a belt. So I've, I'm really gonna have to pick like two belts to bring with me when I go away because it just looks kind of weird with the way that it's bunched but I I love these shorts and the little rips on them they've got the pockets in the back I think they're super cute and both pairs were like $15 I think so super cheap um, I mean when you're getting a pair of shorts like this like I've honestly been searching for shorts that look like this for at least three or four months and when I saw them on Romwe I was like okay I just I gotta do it so I did and yeah so these are both pairs. You can see they kind of look a little different. Colors are different. The ones, uh, the darker ones are a little bit more boxy in the hips. And then the lighter ones with the rips are um, a little bit more fitted. And um, the ones, they do have an elastic on the inside as well as a button. So they are like tight. Um, which it, it's fine for me because I want them with the elastic. And I'm going to be wearing like a nice belt to go with it too. So I really like these. And then... The next item I got was a t-shirt dress, um, which I got in the size medium, and I just wanted like a nice basic t-shirt dress. The only thing is, is that it's like really see-through. So you're going to have to wear like beige underwear with it, or use it as like a bathing co bathing suit cover-up. So I got a, where is it? I got one of these like bandeaus from Romwe as well, because I figured I have a couple tops that are like crop tops that are see-through and I didn't want to wear like a normal bra with it so I figured that this would be nice because it would look like it's part of my skin but I'm not showing anything so I'd probably end up wearing this underneath in a pair of like beige booty shorts so nothing can be seen underneath but I thought this was a really cute um, t-shirt dress and you can get them in like so many different colors so um, yeah it was perfect I love this one 
Then I got a t-shirt. So this t-shirt, I've been looking for one with like eyes and eyelashes on it for a really long time. And I was debating on ordering one from Etsy. The reason I want one is because I do eyelash extensions and I just really like eyelashes. So, but on Etsy, they're like $30 for a t-shirt. And then I saw this one on Romwe and I was like, how cute is that? It would look so good tucked into a pair of like, if you put them with these shorts, like tuck them in, I think it would look super cute. So I got this one, um, they don't have it in any other colors that I saw online, but I thought it was really cute, it fits really nicely, it's like a nice um, relaxed fit with, without being too big, and I got this in the size small. Then I got this sort of like cropped shirt, so it's like three quarter length with these bell sleeves on it, and the back, so I haven't quite figured out if this is the back or the front, but they have these strings that like tie up, which is one of the reasons I got that um, beige like cropped shirt is because I wasn't sure like on the website it shows the ties as being like the front but to me that seems a little weird so I think I'm gonna wear this as the front and see it's like really see-through you can see my I mean I know I'm wearing black but you can see my shirt right through it so I'm gonna be wearing the beige top underneath and then I think I'm gonna take these ties because there's two on each side and tie them at the back um, again because it's weird to have like your ties just kind of like hanging in the front so I thought it was cute and I love the little sleeves with the bells and then I got this one in a size small because I knew that there are ties so I could tie it as tight or as loose as I wanted to around the bust area so I got that and then I got I, I've seen a lot of these shirts on like Instagram and stuff it's one of those like cropped tops that have like a three-quarter length sleeve but it's got a little ruffle around the top and it kind of comes down like just above your belly button obviously I'd be wearing high-waisted shorts with this so that's why I kind of figured I was like this would go good together <laughs> um so I got this one and this is in the size medium because it didn't like I want to make sure it fit across my shoulders so I'd have to stretch a little bit and it actually fits pretty well um and when in doubt I'll wear the beige underneath because just in case it's see-through but it is black so it's a little bit easier and then it's also got this really cute little ruffle around the arms so yeah I got that one it's super cute and this is in the size medium the next one I thought was super adorable and I thought would go cute with like a skirt some white capris or white shorts whatever but it's this like tied shirt so it has these little ties right here and on the arms it's got this really really cute like lace decal and you can see it like actually is raised up so it's all embroidered and it's still got blue stripes and I thought it would be so adorable especially for my vacations coming up like it's really cute I don't remember I think I got this one in a size small as well because I knew that it would have ties at the bottom I didn't want it to be too big but how cute is that just a little ruffle and it was so cute it's adorable so the next item I got is a dress and I know that the gingham style of pattern is really in right now, so I got this like longer dress and it's got these really adorable bell sleeves on it. So I ended up washing all of these clothes before doing this video because they smell really bad like chemicals. Like I can still smell the chemical. Not so much on this, but mostly on the jeans and it's kind of gross. So I figured that I would wash it and then some of the stuff I hung to dry, so like this dress, top, my bathing suits I hung to dry as well. Um, the shorts I hung to dry and then I put them in the wa or put them in the dryer to kind of like get that smell out. But this one, um, you can see it's kind of like not flat. I don't know if you can see, it doesn't really show on camera, but it's I've even steamed this and it didn't go back to like being straight, but I think that's okay because it's patterned, it's not like a solid color um, but I really like this dress I've all wanted something with gingham the gingham like pattern on it and I thought it was really cute and this is in a size medium so I did size up because I was worried about it being too short so yeah that's what I got from this one I think it's gonna be really cute especially at nighttime like if you're going for dinner all right so the next items I got the final ones are bathing suits so I've tried the bottoms of all these bathing suits on and they fit however I did size up. I mean technically I sized up but I knew that they were gonna fit smaller so I'll let you know I have one two three 
one, two, three, four, five bathing suits. So the first one is this sort of peach looking one. Um, I like this one because the straps on the side were a little bit bigger and I didn't want them to like cut into my side. And these bottoms actually are one of the ones that fit like the best out of everyone. Um, and all my bathing suits are in a size medium. And then I thought this top was like super adorable. The tie, the tie does come undone so you can wear it just straight if you want to but I thought it was cute with the tie. I think it's going to look super cute on vacation. It's a really nice peach. I don't know what's about this peach color but I really like it so... I got that one. I ended up getting this really cute blue striped bathing suit. These ones, so they they do have to stretch a little bit to fit me. Um, mostly around the waist and the butt fits fine um, because I tried to find ones that weren't like super far on my butt, which you'll see a couple in the, in in a minute. Um, but I tried to find ones that like would actually cover my butt. And can you believe like this is a medium and it fits okay. I don't know if I'd necessarily size up to a large because I think the large would be too big in like the butt area and be really loose. So I stuck to a medium and I think they fit okay. So And then I got this top that goes with it and I think it's so adorable. It's got the little sleeves on the side so it's kind of like strapless but got the little sleeves that go with it and it's so cute and it's perfect. And then I got this like reddish burgundy one and this is what I'm talking about. So. You can see here that the bottoms are like pretty much the same width as the front and I didn't know if I necessarily liked that because to me that like goes right up my butt. Um, but it's not so bad, they kind of fit a little bit nicer than the ones that go like cover fully because they don't cut into like the sides of my butt. So I really like this color and then it came with this super cute top just so basic that I loved it. The next bathing suit I got is a black one, um, it's literally just like a tube top and it comes it comes with two straps that are actually adjustable which I like. So it comes with two straps that you can wear with it or you can wear it strapless and then again these are the bottoms that go with it so they're a little bit more like cheeky in the butt compared to the red one or compared to the blue ones but not as cheeky as the red. So these ones are nice again in a size medium. Just a basic black bathing suit. And the last item I got was a one piece, which I think fits the best out of all of them. Um, and it's this super cute peach bathing suit. I love this one. It's got the straps at the back. And it's so adorable. I love the white trimming around it. The lower back, but still has that like strap. And it's so cute. It fits the best out of every single one of them. And this is in a size medium. Yep, yeah, size medium. So I definitely suggest sizing up. I mean, bathing suits, I usually size up anyways because I'd rather not be too small, so that's kind of what I did. But. So that's all I got from Ron Lee. Um, just a couple tips before I finish up um, that I have for shopping on their website is one, to make sure that you have one of those measuring tapes like for uh, fabric and measuring yourself because I tend to measure, tended to measure myself for almost every single item because they do have the measurements of like bust and hips and waist and things like that. So I would suggest like measuring yourself and then kind of seeing what size. I always opted to go for like the bigger size of the two. So if it was like a, uh, let's, I mean, I know this isn't the right <laughs> measurements, but like a one to a five. And then the next one was like a four to a six. I always went from like the four to the six because there's a little bit more wiggle room in the size bigger. So that's something I'd recommend. Two, I think it's definitely worth it to do, like, if you have and are able to spend a little bit more to get that free express shipping to Canada, then I would highly recommend it. It took a week and I didn't have to pay for shipping. I know I had to pay for taxes and duties on top, but I felt like it was kind of justified because I didn't pay for shipping and it came in a week. Like, exactly a week I got it later. I'd highly recommend doing that. The third thing would be to wash your clothes before you wear them. There's a very, very strong chemical smell and I think that kind of off puts me just a little bit, but not so much that I wouldn't order from them again. So really wash your clothes before and make sure like I hung dry almost all of my items unless it was like just a little damp a day later because I didn't want anything to shrink so I wouldn't recommend putting any everything in the dryer because you don't necessarily know if it's going to shrink or if it's going to stay the same size and I didn't want to risk it 
and I didn't mind just hang drying my stuff anyways. The last thing would be to really just make sure you know the material of the kinds of things that you're buying. So um, obviously for bathing suits it was kind of evident what I was buying but for my clothes I looked to see like what kind of material it is. Um, I'd suggest that more if you're looking at the sweaters which is why I didn't order because it's I'm going on vacation so I don't need bulky sweaters but if you're going to be buying things sometimes they may pill or look all, like hang differently or they may like if you hang them up they may stretch depending on the type of fabric so I definitely recommend just like really looking into it and taking your time shopping on their website because um, I think I had my basket going for about three days before I placed my order and I would just constantly go back but I Overall, I think I would order from them again. I mean, I don't think there's any harm in ordering. And obviously, I would say t to really splurge for that express shipping if you can. If not, then I don't know how long you're going to be waiting for it. But yeah, that is all. Um, if you want to see these pieces of clothing in my videos, then please keep stay tuned. Subscribe down below because I will probably have some videos, some lookbooks coming up for my vacations and my trips over the next couple of months and you'll be able to see all these pictures, you'll be able to see um, them on my Instagram and yeah so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!